We are now going to provide some definitions related to conic sections. And the way we're going to start is we're going to look at what's called a right circular cone. So that's what this is right here. So suppose we take a plane and we draw a circle on that cone. So this is the circle on that cone. Then we draw a line L perpendicular to the plane from the center of the circle and we pick a point V. Any point that is on this orange piece here is part of the right circular cone. So that's how we create a right circular cone. Good news for you guys, we're not going to do that. I just want you to see this and know what it is. A conic section is what we get when we send another plane through the right circular cone. And we're going to demonstrate this later on, but for now this is all you need to know is that if I were to draw a plane going through this, say we had a plane doing this, where it touches this line would be a conic section, where that plane intersects the cone. A circle then is a is formed with a parallel plane passing through the cone. An ellipse is when we have it when it passes through the cone. And we'll show an example of this in just a minute, but when it passes at the cone through an angle, so it's not a circle anymore, but it's circular, that would be an ellipse. So the piece of paper is going through this way. So it's an angled plane, but it, only, but it connects with all of the, of the cone, so it's connected. A parabola is what happens when we just skim along part of the cone. We don't get all of it, we just skim along part of it. And again, we'll show a picture of this. This just skims the cone. And a hyperbola is when the plane hits both of the cone portions at once. And so, looking at it sideways, a parabola looks like this. A parabola looks like either this or this. An ellipse looks like this, and our circle, of course, is a circle. And these are the conic sections that we are going to be dealing with in this section.